Hello everyone, it is Auntie Scales here and today we will be doing a part 2 of Dimensional Tearing, right? We will be touching up mainly on AP context of tearing and how really does it work in relativity with the existential aspects of, of, of tearing, right? So this video will also talk about infinities and extra dimensional tearing not been taken note of. Without further ado, let's dive in. How about I start off with... um universal to universal plus tiers and before i go on if you haven't watched my first video on dimensional tearing then go watch it asap then come back here and i am also sorry that i am not stressing on the edits um the video the video is quite simple just listen and understand the information being given out what is a universe a universe is uh, is a lot is, a universe basically is a lot of things it is made up mostly of gases it is literally matter and space which is a dual concept along time and energy which affects each other and codependent um, which affects each other codependently and at the same time function alone going by versus battle wiki which most of the community appeals to which are just others like me and you that have gathered information and spent most of their times, I suppose, creating logical articles of concepts to help scaling and also on characters which unfortunately, in that aspect, they are terribly wrong at it, like really consistently wrong at scaling characters. Now, don't get me wrong, I would recommend your tearing system to anyone for just attack potency scaling and destructive scaling, but the question is, will the person grabs, grasp what high universal, universal plus, high hyperversal, and beyond properly are. You must have noticed I didn't mention of low multi to high complex multiversal as well as hyper. That's because to the greatest surprise, those count easily as AP tiers to understand as well as normal universal and below. The thing about high universal is that people don't even get the concept of infinities which I explained a lot in the other video to a good extent. Now, high universal by the tiers, by their system and most other tiering systems I see is creating slash destroying or affecting an infinite three dimensional construct, which is perfectly fine. And same goes with infinite 4D, 5D, 6D and beyond. Now, I won't, I won't be explaining those existential planes here it is in another is in is in the other video but what i will be doing is simply and quickly telling you that no attack tier is the same as an existential tier because your power output does not determine where you live or where you exist because you destroy your multiverse does not make you 5d absolutely not in fact that's retarded to remotely think such that's why I excluded those tiers because infinite tiers are the only tiers alongside high hyperversal and above that your attack tier is equal to your existential tier because you are talking about something unquantifiable under the jurisdiction of what your existence has shown which is why when I say, I say a high complex multiversal being can still be 3D but not infinite 3D and the problem is the problem is equating finite power that can destroy a given limited space-time continuum of different sizes, different size degrees alongside numbers. That means how many numbers of universes are there. A low multiversal being can create slash destroy slash affect the space-time continuum of two to a thousand isolated universes or smaller universes which wouldn't quantify a higher tier because everything could just be spatially 2D with linear time and everything could just be spatially 3D but yet such space-time con um, construct can exist within a 3D general space-time continuum as a total embodiment. People do not even know that each dimensional construct literally has a space-time continuum, even the one dimension. As long as something can exist, no matter the complex, the complexity, it exists within a degree of space-time continuum. Now, same with a full-fledged multiverse of 1001 finite and above, and same for 1001 infinite universes and above. 
just like the low complex complex and high complex which are mainly classifying them as high infinities and then just place an existential tier with an attack tier and think people would understand this is one of the reasons why people are terrible at scaling comics because of lack of knowledge and everyone has made this an authority of reference so appeal to authority of your fellow humans dishing out health knowledge based articles and this is also and this also goes for every franchise and it, it, it is sad to say that with such terrible way of scaling most will never ever scale marvel dc umineko warhammer the elder scrolls properly either you wank or you just massively lowball and this isn't just for this literally every verse because people literally are terrible as well um scaling naruto dragon ball and bleach even um sensei every other verse and personally right i am quite a victim of this i'm not gonna lie and play kind of devil's advocate here I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a victim because if you watch my previous Dragon Ball videos, right? I I'm really sorry to say this, but like I just when I scaled the Dragon Ball videos, I scaled it to what people want to hear most on the least basis, at least when it comes to the end results. But when it comes to like the consistency and power cliffing, I do my job how I'm meant to do it. If I want to be honest, if I want to be honest, Dragon um the high, the when the times when I say like um universal plus in dragon ball shouldn't be universal plus at all i shouldn't have even said that i have to be honest the rest of the scaling is quite very accurate they scale to low multiversal but they do not scale to um oh did i say universal plus sorry high universal um they do not scale to um universal that's where i come in it depends on how you classify high universal as a context i feel like there is high universal in every dimensional construct you know and when i say high universal that is the limit the maximum the maximum of a dimensional tier before you like you cannot even stack infinities as i go on you will understand so yes they're high universal on a 3d scale i got you all there yes on a 3d scale um yeah dragon ball because you could argue them four dimensional in fact i place them at four dimensional existence because they actually have feats that put them there that shows they have 4G existence consistently which will have its own separate video so when you put them on the low end and I say high universal in my mind I'm just like okay infinite three dimensional that is decent as an existential and power output because their whole cosmology literally places them there in fact because I did say I'm going to do a Dragon Ball cosmology video which I will do now let me not waste time on this Dragon Ball stuff that is for another video let's move on now for those so-called classified as extra dimensional construct by versus battle wiki they still logically are below each infinity and its peak of every tier and I bet a lot are confused as hell and are like so freaking explain what you mean by the actual infinite 3d and stuff yada yada well we are getting close because i want this video to be understandable and very less complex thing is just look at the screen of all these definitions you will see three things in common from all their unit tiers and above and that is space and time and infinity this time comes in different sizes and degrees as well as infinities and when you join them together they have sets but there will always be a larger set with the basic knowledge or fundamentals of what that larger set encompasses what do i mean by this you have all these complex complex complexities they could literally just be in fact they're literally just in a three-dimensional space right just based on the on the quantif quantification of what that entire space-time world let me take for example let me use a perfect example perfect verse let's take the marvel the marvel verse right marvel verse each universe literally has infinite dimensional constructs so what are you talking about like one universe in a multiverse and you have infinite amount of universes and one multiverse and the infinite amount of multiverses just just watch out next week my marvel cosmology video is gonna drop it has three parts you guys will be mind blown i'm gonna do this for dc yumi neko and a lot more verses to just really know that that's one i know my shit properly you know i didn't just start, start really scaling today 
you know, it's been a rough step. I have, I started power scaling June last year. I was really terrible, really ass. A lot of people hated me in the anime community. But as time went on, I got a lot better. And in fact, I could probably say that you hardly find anybody that can scale as good as me. But not debate. I do get clapped a lot in debates, especially for the STS and above. We talk about power scaling, thought process, being very intelligent and smart. Nah. They are very rare in the community. In fact, on this planet, they are very rare. Sorry if I'm bragging. Let's move on. Now, see. Universal Plus as well is inside Infinite 3D and Infinite 3D nor 4D. All the rest are in just AP tiers, not existential tiers as well. Infinite 3D is basically a transfinite or beyond infinite three-dimensional construct encompassing all these constructs with your set of infinities and finites which includes all those extra dimensional constructs because if you understand how these infinities work then hyperversal and above won't be a problem the slightest that's what i'm saying right it's high universal for 4d in other words high universal for 4d is actually infinite 4d high universal for 5d is actually infinite 5d hyperversal on its own is actually known as 12d but in reality, it is actually beyond trans, trans infinity. Now let's move on. You see, and sorry, I said hyperversal, actually high hyperversal. Yes, high hyperversal. It's actually trans infinity. And what does trans infinity mean? It means beyond infinity, at least for those who read Marvel and DC, you should be able to understand that. Now each tier varies by an extraordinary margin. That's why this method, this method of tiering then further justifies how characters actually stack up. Stack up. And infinite 3D beings is literally beyond infinities lower than 4D because no matter how much infinities you stack, it won't give you the higher tier. And that's why when you hear people say infinite dimensional constructs, that's when you get high hyperversal. And since you were talking about the peak of spatial temporal constructs, it scales to infinity beyond comprehension. And that's why the tier of outerversal isn't really a, um, a tier for AP, but more like a birthright existential tier that conceptually transcends infinite dimensional constructs. And no matter what you stack, won't reach out of Verso. No matter the amount of infinities you stack, will never reach out of Verso. And that is the same gap between each tier. And that's why AP tier can never equate existential tier. And that's why I laugh when and um, why and when people say. You can ex you can be existentially 3D and have 5D AP. And in my mind, I would just be like, man, people truly are beyond incoherent. And that's why I hate debating sometimes because I can't start teaching tiering while debating and I would never stop due to nonsense. So sometimes I let the victim actually win. But for those who know they shit, knows how good debates of intellectuals actually go. Before I move to the outer tiers and beyond, let me quickly say something. Universal Plus is in 4D and will never be. Watch my previous video and this very well and you will understand. Universal Plus is just affecting a size beyond your average universe size known by a good degree and nothing more. Since we have, we know how infinities work just by an infinitesimal degree for the average minded people because I personally can make a 3 hours video on each tier, no cap. And even worse when talking about infinities. Trying to make this video as simple as possible. Now everything you see on Versus Battle Wiki on high, auto, on high hyperversal and above is pretty correct to be honest. You know, I have been kind of slandering them for a while, but I have to also give credit where credit is deserved. But within Outerversal still, you have low Outerversal, Outerversal, and Outerversal Plus. And in some verses, you have those inaccessibly into um, Outerversal and immeasurably into it. And immeasurably something infinitely unquantifiable. In a situation where someone is outer and another transcends them infinitely, and the other transcends infinitely and, so, and, and same again. And know that after each set of infinity, that's just immeasurable into it. And nothing else 
and outer plus views normal outer as literally zero dimensional. The same goes with the hierarchy because like I said, no matter the infinity you stack, you can get up the next tier and a character infinitely above the other and even more from the preceding tier must transcend the duality in which the other perceives so there is no ranking of characters. High outer, high outer verso views even those immeasurably into um, outer verso as zero dimensional as well as this if it's even if and as well as this is even worse high outer verso beings actually need to be trans infinitely or immeasurably above immeasurable into outer outer verso and transcend the total concept of itself of the of the space time as well as the dual concepts or in other words, transcends outer beings infinitely, as well as their Platonic and false Platonic concepts and even Aristotelian concepts. Now there's tiering, now the, um, these tiering varies in just outer, even high outer. First might not have all those layers of outer, but can still have high outer versus being. Note that some verses have layers into high outer similar to what I just told you for outer and possibly way worse and that's where you have usually where's where you usually have verses like HP Lovecraft, U Umineko, um Warhammer, The Elder Scrolls and Marvel. But this is arguably and caps mainly at just high outer or an infinite layer into it. Boundless characters are bound are in bound by even the so called concept of infinities. It is just it is just a mere form of non-existence and still high out of universal beings are nothing than non-existence to them. Also guess what? They are beings still above those classified as boundless. Usually I just classify them as nigh omnipotent outside their verses but within their verses I classify them as omnipotent. Well that is all for today. I try my best to make this video as simple as possible. Honestly I'm kind of like really depressed nowadays. It's very hard to upload. I don't know. I haven't been feeling so great. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best to give you guys the best content. It's not easy growing. Please, you guys help me out. Share, comment, like. Give me the support. Show me that I need to give, keep giving you guys this. Though, I love what I do. But please, support me more. Share, like, comment. And see you all next time. Peace.